This is a 1961 Ford Fairlane 500. And uh, this is a really cool car. Last year, the fins. It's got a uh, 390 in it. And actually, the guy who sold it to me said he thought it was a 406. But after pulling some numbers on it, I don't think it's a 406. I wish it was, uh, but uh, I'm uh, pulling the numbers on it, looking to looking more like a 390. Some of the numbers can be a little bit hard to discern. It's got a brand new, uh, of course, it's got a nice Edelbrock intake on it. Brand new Edel, matching Edelbrock aluminum valve covers and uh, air cleaner. These are the expensive ones. This is not the cheapo stuff that people just throw on there to try and impress somebody. Um, super, super clean under the hood. Very nice, clean inner fender wells. Electronic ignition upgrade. Super clean firewall. Really clean underneath the hood. This is a very minimal rust free, uh, very minimal rust car. I can't call it rust free because it's got a couple of little spots on it, but very, very minimal. Engine runs awesome. We're gonna take it for a drive in just a second. In fact, as long as I've got stuff up, I'll show you the, go ahead and show you the trunk and then we'll do a walk around of the car with everything closed up. So, uh, really clean trunk overall. A couple of weak spots, a couple of spots where there's been some surface rust and weak. Little, there's a little rust hole there. There's a little rust hole, small one there, and small one there. If, it, if I was going to keep this car personally, I probably would not replace the trunk pan uh, because it's still strong. You can still hold things. It's not all rusted through. And as we look up underneath it, you can see that too. So, deck lid is nice and solid all the way across. A lot of times these will rust out on the back, things like that. So uh, this is a solid, you know, solid spot right here and um, solid deck or trunk lid, overall solid trunk. Mm -hmm. Body lines on this car are extremely straight. Very, very straight. The doors line up straight like they're supposed to. The paint is consistent from bumper to bumper. Really sharp driver quality paint job is what I'm gonna call this. And at some, it depends on your car show. At some car shows, this is gonna be a car that's really you know at most of your local car shows this is going to be a car that really draws attention it's got a color that pops it's a very classic um, vintage looking color it's got brand new 18 inch boss wheels that look really really um really they look like they belong on this car i don't like going any bigger than 18 some guys like putting 20s and 22s and stuff to me that's too big but this is gives it a nice hot rod look eight inches on the front nine and a half inches in the back brand new rubber in fact, I literally just put these on. I haven't even driven it a mile with these wheels on it yet. But I am planning on driving this car over the next few days. Until it sells, I'm going to drive it. Um, it's just so much fun to drive. It's because it's got the 390 four-barrel in it. And it's got a four-speed. And um, it just drives awesome. In fact, I bought this car in Alabama. Um, it's a Southern States car. Super clean. I'm trying to kind of walk around so you can see in the video. See how straight the hood is. The top is super straight. There's no the little dings. You know, a lot of times you guys see cars, they look like they had hail damage on them or something like that. Look like touch-up paint all over the place. This is not that car. It's got a couple of little spots. If I get up really close, you might be able to see a tiny bitty run there. You know, it is a driver, so it's got a couple of little minor itty bitty dings on it from being a driver. Uh, maybe a couple of tiny little dots of touch-up paint. There's one right here. But unless you're eagle eyeing it, this car looks really sharp. So super smooth trunk, lights work, turn signals work. It's got an aftermarket CD player inside, um, which is awesome because whoever did that did not damage the original uh, look of the uh, of the dashboard. So I love that. I hate it when people cut the dashboard. Door panels look good. All of the interior is extremely presentable. No rips or tears. Very clean, not faded upholstery on the inside cloth which is really nice especially when it's hot it's not burning your buns when you're getting in um, like i said original retention of the dashboard all the little chrome pieces and everything on the inside look really clean dashboard was painted properly and the paint you'll notice on the inside is kind of a little bit darker blue metallic than the outside matches wonderfully the uh, odometer shows 88,305 miles don't know if that's original or not Headliner looks clean. Rear tray is clean, has uh, two six by nines in it. They sound great. And like I said, somebody just fashioned something to screw underneath the dash here. So if you, want, if you wanted to take that out, the car would look very original inside. Four speed shifter with a Hurst shifter in here. 
this car drives great shifts out great so like I was saying I bought it in Alabama and I actually didn't have room on my trailer I bought another vehicle from a different guy caught this one on the way home and I said I gotta have it picked it up and I drove it two and a half hours home and I was doing like 70 the whole time and it runs awesome very clean frame rails And I don't know if this car is lowered or what, but it sits kind of low. Floor pans. Solid. New Flowmaster exhaust. And this is the exhaust that sounds awesome. Aggressive, but not too aggressive. Aggressive, but not annoying. I'll put it that way. Inner fender wells. Very clean. These are the places we're always looking for rust. I mean, actually, the undercarriage of this car is really clean. A couple of spider webs there from this thing sitting around. And the garage, and the spiders like to get to it. I believe it's a nine in Ford 9-inch rear end, of course. And it is lowered. There's the lowering block somebody put on it. I'm glad that it is. It's lowered very tastefully. Like I said again, on this side... Super clean floor pans. There's some original um, undercoating there that you can see. Really clean, solid frame rails. All rust free. The only spots of rust that I think I've seen in the car is running down inside this lip. There's just a touch of kind of where it looked like it rusted on that lip, just a hair. Um, on the inside, you got to lift up the hood to even try and see it. So anyways, well, let's take it for a drive real quick. I'm not going to take it for a super long drive, but I'll show you that it runs great. And it does. The nice thing about the way that they lowered it is it is, uh, it looks like lowering springs in the front. They put the blocks in the back. It sits nice and level. So it's not cockeyed or, you know, like some of these hot rods you see, they kind of look like they stick up too high in the front or they stick up too high in the back. They almost always never seem to level out. So whoever did this did a really good job. does work um, speedometer does work temp gauge works and right now because I just cranked it up it's gonna show that it's hot and as soon as I do let the engine run and get the car moving a little bit you see it drop right down so like I said I drove it about two and a half three hours on the way home from Alabama never that needle never moved above that quarter in, kept quarter spot about where it is right now you can see once I got some water moving in there that's how the old cars are, of course, you turn it off, sometimes they go all the way to hot. Roll your window down, I'm burning up in here. Feels good once you're moving, but with the windows up, sitting in the hot sun, ain't no good. Got a nice sounding exhaust. So there you have it. Somebody's gonna love this car, it's super, super fun. It's always nice to find a big block four speed car. And uh, I think this is gonna make a great, great vehicle for somebody. There I said, like I said, that's how it runs down the road with the temp right there. 
fuel gauge works, all the lights work, turn signals work. I believe the turn signal indicators are on. So, well, there you have it. This is going to be a great car for somebody. This is the ones I hate to see go. They're so much fun and super cool looking. I love the fins.